Hello everyone and welcome to our third question and answer video on nicotine patches for post-acute viral diseases like long COVID and ME-CFS. I'm Troy, I'm a citizen scientist and part of the Renegade Research Group. Before we dive in, let's make one thing clear. I'm not a medical professional, so this isn't medical advice. It's just helpful information to guide your conversation with your doctor or healthcare provider. Welcome. Today we are going to focus on what to do long term. How long should you experiment? What protocols have worked for others? If you have not seen our first FAQ videos on safety and the first round, then make sure to check them out. Nicotine patches are relatively safe and everyone should try them, but you need to do some research to maximize benefits and to reduce risks. These videos are meant to supplement existing safety guidelines and keep you informed with the latest research. Find everything in our link tree below. So you finish the first round, which might be similar to this or not. You taper up and down for two to four days by using only 3.5 milligrams. Then depending on how it went, you used five to seven milligrams for seven to 10, to 10 days. Along the way, you should have found the best dose for you. Note, this is just a suggested starting point based on the averages of those who have already tried and be. Each person's experience will be unique. Some may have started at one eighth of a seven milligram patch. That is less than one milligram over a day. Hopefully you have found your sweet spot which is where you get the maximum benefits and the fewest side effects. Maybe you stayed at 3.5 milligrams or dropped down to a milligram and are slowly building up over weeks. That is okay. Then, after you have tapered down, you took a break for three to five days and need to decide how to move forward. Note, you might have felt great on the patch or horrible on the break, and put a patch back on after only one day of break. Or you felt fantastic on the patch and did not want to stop. That is okay too. Number one, be safe. Don't take risks. The first round should have taught you a lot about how NP affects your body, but you may have more to learn and you will need to use NP for at least a month before actually knowing if it is helping or not. People who stopped after a week or two probably have not seen a clear picture of what is going on. And sadly, some stop mid herx when they just need to lower the dose and get through that sickness phase. Number two, what are your goals now that you have some experience with NP? Uh, maybe you will build up the dose and aim for a Herx sickness reaction every once in a while? Or how will you know when you have maximized benefits of NP? Are you going to use this as a daily ADHD medication? Are you interested in the possible neuroprotective benefits that may reduce damage from future viral infections? When your body adapts to a dose, Will you continue at that dose or increase the dose or take a break to let receptors rest? Maybe you will just keep NP on hand for tough days that life throws at you or to recover from PEM or a crash. Number three, even after a month, you still have more to learn. There may be different side effects, other medica medications, have different effects and parasympathetic stimulation, which may switch from being a boost to making you extra sleepy for a few weeks. Check in with your body, have clear goals, but be ready to adapt when things do not go as planned. So how many rounds are needed? Well, in the case of Dr. Litsky's original protocol that was tested on four recent long COVID cases, they were told to use one seven milligram patch per day for seven days. After a week of rest, all four were cured of their long cold symptoms. 
But this will not be the case for most people who have been sick for longer than a few weeks. Expect it to take months. Next, I will present some cases, but remember that NP is not a universal miracle drug. It is only one part of a healing puzzle. There is not only one right way to do things. I will start with my case. Maybe I will make long videos with details later, but I will just give some takeaways. First, I started MP in an acute infection number five, when my body already had time to ramp up defenses. I was clearly a responder to nicotine patches. I did not have much of a herx, if any. I got lucky with a starting dose of 5.25 milligrams of the Cefetune brand, which is probably more like 3.5 milligrams in some other patches. I had a summer break to experiment. I took breaks of different lengths, but I still patch regularly for nootropic and protective benefits. I have not taken any extended breaks for a while. I usually take a break when I realize at the end of the day, I have not patched up and extended for a few days. This summer, I plan to take a two to three week break to see where I am. Next, the short, easy cases. You can find lots of testimonies on Facebook or on Dr. Letsky's success stories shared on Instagram. Many report patching for as little as one week or as long as six months and feeling cured. Everyone's definition of cured is different, thus the quotes. They found their dose and continued for extended periods. They felt that they had maximized benefits from the MP. They then stopped for an extended period and continued feeling cured or healed or much better for some or all symptoms. Those people did not feel the need to go back onto nicotine patches and consider themselves to be healed. Then there are cases that see an inverse effect and feel worse while on the nicotine patch. This seems rare, but it is a good sign that healing is going on and that is independent of any stimulation effect. So these people first feel bad on the patch, and then when they take a break, they notice increases in their baseline. Then they go back onto the patch and repeat back and forth as they feel better and better. They adjust the length of being on and P versus being off and P to match their energy and their levels of stress in their lives, right? Maybe they only patch on weekends or do one week on and one week off or three days or four days on and the rest of the week off, etc. Each person is different. Next, there are cases of people who report healing from short-term Herx Verx sickness reactions. If Dr. Litsky's original hypothesis is true, NP may work for this and many other reasons, but we will dive into the many theories in another video. These people will start at one to 3.5 milligrams and slowly build up one to three milligram steps as needed. Second, when the dose is high enough to have a Herx or a sickness reaction, like having a cold for a couple days, then they feel fine and hopefully even better after getting past the Herx response. They enjoy the new benefits and rest up for a while before starting to increase the dose slowly until another sickness response happens. They repeat until they feel cured. Lower dose, but don't stop patching. For this type of protocol, you're not taking breaks. You're just slowly increasing the dose. And if needed, you're lowering the dose, all right? I will put links down below to some documents from a tester in the Facebook group who has used this method and is cured. This technique also overlaps with the autophagy hypothesis proposed by Bunk, the biologist, in his Facebook group, 
which focuses on autophagy for healing. Then there are the cases of people who report repeat remissions. They use the nicotine patch for weeks or months and feel cured or in remission. They stop and only use nicotine patches sometimes or not at all. A future COVID-19 infection or other challenges causes symptoms to flare and return. So they start nicotine patches again to get better again. They rinse and repeat as needed. A tester on Twitter reported using NP to climb out of long COVID for a third time thanks to second repeat infection in less than a year. This is a danger of being a mom, teacher, medical professional, etc. Note, this is one reason I continue to patch on a regular basis. An animal study shows that nicotine is more protective if it is already in your system when challenged by a new infection. Where to now? Well, see your other videos, like and comment with what other doubts or ideas for other topics you want covered in video format. Learn from others who have tested nicotine patches before you and for a complete set of safety guidelines, questions and answers and other resources, find everything in our link tree below. In conclusion, nicotine patches are not a magic pill, but they can be a helpful tool in managing long COVID, ME-CFS and similar conditions. Some people even credit nicotine patches with completely healing. However, even for them, there are many pieces to the healing puzzle. Just remember to approach it with caution, listen to your body, and always seek professional guidance. And above all, be kind to yourself, then help others when you have extra energy. We are stronger together. Thank you for watching.